The Indian Air Force will move files to the Defence Acquisition Council later this month for the purchase of 97 additional Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets, and the plan is to conclude the 60,000 crore rupees deal by the end of the year. India is likely to skip China's Third Belt and Road Summit in Beijing on 17 October, while Russian President Vladimir Putin is expected to attend the summit. The Indian Navy is looking to induct unmanned underwater vehicles that can be deployed from submarines, for anti-submarine warfare, mine laying and mine countermeasure, disrupt enemy communications and underwater reconnaissance missions. India's Chief of Defence Staff has said, that in spite of being a major nuclear power, Russia's geopolitical importance will go down in the times to come, while the world will witness the rise of an assertive China. Despite the ongoing conflict, Israel has formally assured India, that its defence supplies will continue without disruption. The Army Commanders Conference will discuss the recent use of paragliders by Hamas to infiltrate Israeli airspace. The Indian Air Force has decided to fund and develop low-cost close-in weapon system that will have both gun-based and short-range missile-based solutions and will be used for safeguarding airbases against saturation attacks using low-cost aerial threats such as loitering drones, rockets and subsonic cruise missiles, while existing surface-to-air defense systems will provide protection against traditional missiles, fighter jets and helicopters. The competition for Indian Navy contract for six new Project 75i submarines is in its final stages, with Spain's S-80 and Germany's Type 214 emerging as front-runners. Naval analysts have said that the German Type 214 is slightly smaller than the S-80, that will lead to a smaller acoustic signature. The Type 214 is equipped with eight torpedo tubes, while the S-80 has six. The Type 214 features torpedo countermeasures system, and its advanced sonar technology might give it a slight edge in detection capabilities. Two Super Shukhoi configured prototypes will serve as flying test beds to validate 51 major upgraded systems and their compatibility with the airframe. Apart from the indigenous upgrade package including ACE radar and avionics, the Avionica Moscow Research and Production Complex in Russia will supply a digital fly-by-wire control system for the Super Shukhoi, that will enhance aircraft maneuverability and precision. India has officially selected the American company Cummins for supply of advanced combat engines for the indigenous light tank being developed by DRDO and Larsen and Tubro, after the German company MTU did not agree to supply the engines on time, even after the matter was taken up at the diplomatic level. L&T and DRDO will unveil the first prototype in February 2024, and will build a total of 59 tanks and the remaining 295 tanks will be built by a private sector firm after a bidding process, but the order is expected to go up to 600 tanks. The Sri Lankan president has remained non-committal on the security concerns raised by India, and currently the Chinese research vessel Xi'an-6 is maintaining its position at 1,000 km east of the China-controlled Hamban Tota port for the past two weeks. India's national security planners are convinced that the Chinese vessel is mapping the Indian Ocean bed to chart out new sea routes for its submarines. Today's top 3 comments.